guys, my name is Jazz and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I discuss everything fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. And today I'm going to be going over some spring wardrobe essentials, pretty much my spring capsule wardrobe for 2021. Last year I did this video um, and I did it again like in the midst of the pandemic. Um, but now since things are opening up, we're going back outside. I just want to go over the perfect essentials that you need to have in your spring wardrobe. Um, if you guys haven't watched my spring trends video, um, I'll tag that up here. But in that video, I go um, over everything that's trending for this spring. But here, I'm going to go over the essential things that you need and that you should have. So you can wear the trendy things if that makes sense. So if you want to see what you need to have in your wardrobe, in your spring capsule wardrobe this spring, stay tuned. So the first essential that you need to have in your capsule wardrobe is a great neutral blazer. So this one, I'm just so excited that I finally got it. Oh, my whole rack is moving. But it's the one from the Frankie shop. So I love this blazer. I wanted it for a long time. I do still have another um, oversized blazer from Zara that I'm obsessed with that I love too. But this one I wanted for so long. It has a cinch waist. It comes in black and it comes in two sizes. So it comes in either the extra small size to small or the, I believe, medium to large. But I love this blazer because it's like cinched. It's perfect. Uh, I love it. Um, the sleeves are like the perfect length for me. I have really long arms, but they don't reach the length, but like it's okay because it's enough room in the blazer where I can kind of like scrunch it up, but it's so cute. I love it, I love it, I love it. So um, as you guys know, in the spring, like having the perfect like jackets, we're in that transition weather where sometimes it's chilly, sometimes it's extra warm, but having like the perfect blazer does like something to any outfit like even like what I have on here it's like perfect so definitely get you guys a neutral blazer this one again is from the Frankie shop um, I also get an oversized blazer if you don't have if you don't like a cinch waist which they have really great ones at Zara and any like pretty much high street like fashion website but get a neutral blazer makes such a difference next thing you should have in your wardrobe your spring essential is definitely a great leather jacket so I have this biker jacket. I got this again last year um, from Zara. This is the cream color. Um, of course, I have other um, biker kind of leather jackets in like black, of course. But I feel like something about this just makes it like, it just makes everything elevated and it's like so cool. I like to get my like leather jackets a little bit oversized so I get a little bit more flexibility with them. This color again is the neutral. Everything you'll probably see that I show like essential for my essentials is like a neutral color because I feel like you can't go wrong and literally you can kind of interchange and like match with match with different things. The next is like a great trench coat. I got this one from Nordstrom. It's the brand Lee. This one is kind of like a green color. I wore it a little bit in the fall, but I'm going to just take it with me into the spring just because the color again is more neutral and I can wear it with like creams, whites, um, tans, and the pattern kind of just gives everything that little extra pop so i really like that um of course i have my eye on like i want a a white like either white or cream like faux leather trench coat i feel like i need that in my wardrobe and like i need to find one i know zara had some but i don't see it now so i have to keep my eye on that but like kind of having these two kind of jackets really help with my wardrobe in the spring and it's such a great great jacket to have so next in my spring capsule essential wardrobe, I want to get into tops, like now. So I love like a good top and like you get all these cute like fancy tops, they're blue and blah blah blah. But then I find myself like days, like for instance the other day I had to meet one of my friends for like dinner and I'm like crap, like what shirt am I going to wear, what shirt am I going to wear? And I went, I always grab for the same thing. So first thing that you should get that you need to have is like concert tees. Like I mention these a lot, not even concert tees, like logo t-shirts, like so this one is from Shopaholic. I have like, so I have a top drawer that like I'll get into my decluttering video, which will probably come later this month, but I have drawers filled with just t-shirts and I wear them all the time, like with jeans and like a blazer over it. You have so much wearability and flexibility with these kind of t-shirts. Like, um, this is the YSL one from In Your Wardrobe. So like, I'll grab a t-shirt, wear it with leggings, throw like an oversized blazer with it and I have an outfit. Like, you could wear these with shorts in the summer, you can wear with anything in the spring so before i reach for like a frilly top that i might get like one good wear out of i get a bunch of these t-shirts and i wear them literally all the time like even when i have loungewear pants on i'll grab like a cool like band t-shirt and it's cool like i really got some cool ones i'll show you in a spring haul coming up but nasty gal has awesome like concert t-shirts target like in the men's section they have great ones i get them a little bit oversized but this is essential you should have it and it does so much for your wardrobe 
next for spring. H&M does a really good job at this, but it is the um, linen white shirt. So I get mine, like this I think is a large. It's a large. So I get the large and it sells out every year, but I literally wear everything with it. I can wear pants with it. Like I could put any, like in the summer, shorts. I can wear it with cargo pants. Like just having this essential top, I get it dry clean like all the time because I'm in it so much. You can wear it with like biker shorts. Like literally, if you don't have a white linen button down shirt, get one, it's essential. You will do so much with it and you will like thank me later because you will get so much wear out of it. So of course in our spring wardrobe or um, capsule wardrobe, we have to have bottoms, of course. Um, so first, of course, I'm gonna talk about wide leg jeans again. They are trending for spring and I think they're great. Um, it gives, you know, the jean a little bit more flair. These are from Zara. I talk about these all the time. They seem to be the only pair of wide leg denim jeans I can find like with, with high street that fit me like really, really good. And the length is like perfect. I have length, I can wear heels. Because if you are like a tall girl, like I'm 5'7", Sometimes you'll get a wide leg jean, you put a heel and it becomes high water. So these are the perfect length for me. Um, a wide leg trouser, of course. Um, these are my favorite pair from Zara. Sometimes Zara, like, um, they have things that, you know, float in my wardrobe throughout like a long time. So these are really good. I'm not sure if they brought these back, but any wide leg trouser or kind of like dad pant is really good to have in your wardrobe as well as a white pair of jeans. So these are from last year. And I have a video on my channel of how to style um, slouchy jeans, pretty much the balloon jeans. Um, and these are white ones that I have that I love. Something about a white jean, like it's perfect. Like I love a monogram look with these jeans. It just does, it just does something. And the balloon fit is something that I'm still, it's still trending. So if you're not with the wide leg fit jeans and you still want a different style definitely try like the balloon like slouchy fit get them oversized i think they look so cute i'll put that video up here so you guys can watch them but i still i'm still into slouchy jeans so definitely getting a white pair of jeans and the white pair of jeans can be wide leg too but definitely get a pair of white jeans wide leg a good trouser whether it be wild leg, wide leg or um like a dad trouser so a few years ago, I got like this suit um, from Zara and I definitely want to get another one. It's hard for me to find like good suiting because I remember I got one like a few years back and like it was like you have to get a tailor sometimes. So like the jacket was so big, the pants were so big. So I just kind of just was like, ah, I'm not going to do it. But I got this one. This one is like a linen um, suit from Zara. I got this. This is really old, but I find that I keep pulling it out in my wardrobe because it's so good to have like a good matching like suit. I'm looking forward to getting like another one, like maybe in like, you know, the powder blue I like, or just like another springy color because sometimes you don't even realize like you wear the pants and then you're wearing the pants separately and then you go for the jacket. So if you guys can get like a really good suit, I know ASOS has really good ones too. Um, I'm definitely probably gonna get some more, another one, maybe one or two, just so I can have them in my wardrobe because again, you take the pants off, you can wear the pants separately, the jacket's a blazer and you can wear that separately too. So having like a matching suit set is essential in your wardrobe. This one's old, but the blue is good because no matter what season, I can kind of do this blue with like a pop of color or I can wear it with white and it's comfortable. This one is like a linen um, color and it has the belts. Um, sometimes like I don't really want the belt, but I can take it off and wear it um, without it and it's still really cute. Um, but I definitely wanna get into some more suiting this year, especially like now that like I feel like this summer, like even with my mask, I'm gonna be out and I definitely want to have like another one, but I'm definitely going to invest in getting it tailored what you guys should do too. Like if you find a good suit and you can like get it tailored, get it tailored because you won't find another one. I'm telling you, it's so hard to find like really good suiting. So if you find a good suit, definitely keep it, tailor it and keep it in your wardrobe. The next thing that's essential in your spring wardrobe is some type of loungewear set like now. One thing that I learned from the pandemic that like I'm so grateful for is just being comfortable, honestly. Like I think I've learned that being comfortable is like better than anything. Of course you wanna be fashionable, but being comfortable is just like, it just takes high top priority now. Like if I'm not comfortable, like I'm not wearing it. Um, so I bought this set from Zara. If you haven't checked out my Zara um, spring haul, then I'll put that video up here so you guys can check it out. But um, I got this like loungewear kind of like pajama set. 
which I'm obsessed with. But even if you guys get into like the pajama trend, any kind of loungewear set, like whether it be like the joggers, the shorts, there's so many different ways to kind of like elevate that loungewear look these days. And I think it's essential in your wardrobe. Like you need to have like a good loungewear set that is like interchangeable. You could kind of put a blazer over the pants and kind of just make it fashion. Um, let me know if you guys have gotten some cool loungewear sets, but Nasty Gal has them, H&M. Um, I've been getting them from kind of like fast fashion sites because I just have so many sets now, but getting that kind of set is just like perfect. I think even well onto the summer, they're gonna be like top priority in your wardrobe. So the last thing that I think is essential in um, your spring wardrobe is a flowy dress. So this one is from Nasty Gal. I love this dress. I was looking, I can't find my H&M one. Like I literally was digging through my closet. I have to clean it out, but I can't find it. But the flowy dress style is all the rave this season. And I definitely suggest that you get a few of them because they're so comfortable and you can wear them multiple ways. So even if you kind of want something easy that you can wear for brunch, you can throw this on and still look really, really cute. Um, they have bunches of different colors. Like they have like pink ones, like baby blue ones. Not baby blue, I'm gonna say powder blue ones. <laughs> powder blue ones that you could kind of wear with like sneakers, you can wear them with sandals, like you can do so much with them and they are comfortable. Like I'm telling you guys, like comfortability is going to be the trend of 2021, just being comfortable and still being like chic at the same time, but definitely get you a few of these dresses, like because I have a few and I plan on getting a few more. And I forgot to mention guys, so I forgot to say footwear, so um, footwear for me, um, the essential things that I like to have, like I never considered myself like a sneaker head before and I still won't consider it, but I have my few essential sneakers. Like I love the Nike's blazers, like you can wear them with suiting, you can wear them with pants and still look really cute. And they're just so, they're just so edgy looking. I have them now, but I literally wear them to the gym now and they're so beat up. So I'm not going to show you those, but even a great slide. Um, if you're someone who doesn't have a lot of shoes, but you want a great shoe, go for like a slide in like a neutral color or maybe a pop of color that you can kind of wear with your neutrals and whites or even um, the platform slides um, or the dad sandal that is trending this year is also great and a good essential to have. But again, if you want to keep it kind of like a, in a capsule wardrobe way, get neutral colors like maybe black, white, um, like a tan or even the powder blue I find goes with neutrals, whites and even when you have a pop of color, it matches perfectly. Guys, that is all of my spring wardrobe essentials in my spring <laughs> capsule wardrobe for 2021. Let me know what's a must for you. What's, what have you picked up already? Because I think it's so important to kind of build your essential wardrobe first and then kind of buy all the trendy things because it's so easy to just be like, oh, I want this and want this. But then if you don't have like really the basics and the essentials to go with it, then you know, you have nothing. So <laughs> get your essentials first, guys. Let me know um, your thoughts. Um, please leave a comment down below. Just say hi, subscribe, and like this video. And until next time, guys, be safe and be well. Bye.